guys this is mass and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing a little yu huang in the middle lane rocking whatever the hell this skin is it's called jace it's from league it's not from league um there's there's a jason league though i don't know i don't know much about it though oh speed buff got a little trolled unfortunate kind of tragic fenner got a little bit goofy yeah so that'll be a little bit of a scuff start not terribly scuffed overall but we don't quite get level two I think I gotta leave him to solo his thing, and hopefully I can manage to hold my own in lane a little bit. So, yeah, this is generally, I've been getting a lot of stuff like this, where um, people are getting used to the starts, and the minion aggro, and, like, what's gonna be good for XP, how do I actually pull all the camps and not mess it up? It gets a little tricky, there's a learning curve, it's still PTS, it's not even the live, so sometimes we get a little bit of that, but that start right there is what seems to be just straight up the best jungle mid start. Um, I've finally gotten to try it a little bit. TEST! Oh my god! <laughs> was that a taunt? I don't even know. I don't I don't play that skin, man. I, I know, like, that is iconic. I can tell exactly what skin that is because of the thing he just did. Is it a taunt? I don't even know. Is it just a button he presses? Bing. Hang on. And then we hit him with a little with a little <laughs> Janice, come on, man. Why aren't we running a little deeper just in case? Um Yeah, anyways, getting back to business. Getting back to business, basically the start we try to do there, but if speed doesn't get reset, then we just get to kill them all. We get to kill blue, speed, red as a three-man as well as smalls. Do every single camp, we don't lose too much HP, we pretty much get to lane on time, and then we get level two. Uh, just barely, which is, which is all you care about. So, that's the ideal start on the solo jungle side. Not necessarily gonna be the easiest thing to pull off, because we do have that whole tricky business of making sure everybody pulls their camps correctly, and if anything gets reset, it gets a little awkward. And camps do leash differently now, too, because we don't have these, at least for other things, like if I reset this, I just reset it. Um, but in general, camps don't have those little camp ranges or whatever the hell you want to call them, or they get reset by walking outside of it. So we got to have a little something else, and the way that it works now in this new season is basically whoever's closest is going to be tanking aggro, and that means that it can be a little bit tricky to hold on to aggro because people are still getting used to it. Um, some people, I'm sure, still don't even know, and it just takes a little, a little getting used to. Like, I played some Arachne earlier today. Arachne, if you move a little bit away from the camp and you throw your spiders, your spiders will leash the aggro, which is good, right? But then the spiders insta-die, and then the minions are stupid. So the minions are like, oh, the spiders are gone while you're hitting them, and they just start going back to business. They, they actually, like, do not even realize you're there. So that'll probably be, there might be a little bit of an AI buff at some point or something. It gets a little, it gets a little weird sometimes. It's still a very new season, very new thing that they're working with here. They're probably just trying to do these. Well, I have to see, by the way, my Yu Hong might be very scuffed. I really don't play Yu Hong. Um, I <laughs> believe it or not, Y is not exactly high on my priority of A to Z either. So yeah, it might be a little scuffed. We're also going to do potentially a scuffed build because I want to mess around with a bunch of the new stuff that's been getting changed. So the main idea that we're looking for is we're going to do Book of Thoth into uh, Tablet of Destinies is I think what it's called. And we're also going specifically Conduit because while well, Conduit didn't get a buff, um, what's it called? What's it called? Gem of Focus got a buff. Actually a pretty big buff. Gem of Focus gets almost double the passive now. So very, very big deal. Double might be extreme. It's like, I, I don't, what's the math? Like 70% boost, something like that. It's pretty ridiculous. So, okay. Uh, we're going to pretend. <laughs> I thought that would it. Um... So, so pretty giant buff. I thought we'd try and show it some love, even though I think, um, even with the buff, I think Yu Hong's just a pendulum type character. It's nice to have cooldown. Make it easy on me, Janice. And then, of course, I miss it anyways. My god. We gonna get ganked ever? I'm kind of surprised we haven't been getting any Fenrir ganks. I do have a pretty good matchup where I should really be able to hold my own into these Fenrir ganks, because basically if he brutalizes, I press three forehead. But, you know, could give it a little try. See if it pays off. What I'm mostly worried about, I am trying to, I have not played Yu Huang in a while. I thought it was probably smart in advance to stick this bad boy on normal cast. And with normal cast, I might, I might mess it up so much. Normally, this is very much an insta cast ability, and then I just hope I know the range. I've played him so little lately that I feel like I don't know the range. Hopefully, I don't mess this up too bad. And we can actually get some decent ults. Which, now that I have item done, is Jan is going to goof it all? Is he going to let me do it to him? No... He's playing a little bit bank still. Nice, we have a pretty good farm so far. Try and peek this, see if it's up at all. No, okay. 
Maybe? Yeah, so like it didn't go off at all the way I wanted, but it seems like he's dead. Yeah, just barely. So <laughs> I might have to put this back on the cast. This might be a struggle, man. I really have not played Yu Hong in, uh, in literally months. There was a little phase I went through. I don't remember if I actually did a video, but I wanted to do a video and I was playing him a little bit forever ago. And yeah, I don't even know how much mashing I did to try and get my ult to go off there. And it didn't happen. And that might actually be PTS because PTS definitely, like I've said already, I've had trouble where um, servers are not the best. They're different than the normal servers. Sometimes it seems like you press buttons and the buttons don't do the thing they're supposed to do. And can I help you? Fenrir? You'd better stop. Oh, I want to kill him. I do have the beads. I just straight up can't kill him, though. I would have threed on him if it was actually, like, maybe going to turn into anything. But, yeah, so maybe that's all it was. We're going to try insta-cast and see if that actually helps me out or not. Guys, still taking getting used to. I've been using the shards pretty well. I haven't been too bad about forgetting about it. Normally, if I do, it's more of a, like, oh, it's back off cooldown thing. Um, And normally not so much just forgetting I have it in general. It feels so wrong still, though. I wanted the poke. I shouldn't have bothered. It's not worth it. Um... Can I help you, man? Do not do the cab old thing. <laughs> well, he didn't do it. Did I really? I think I just missed like three creeps. I'm pretty sure. I think I just got absolutely farmed by my own minion wave. I think they took so many last hits that I somehow didn't get credit for it because I was like two feet out of range. It's too bad. By the way, we can do a little of this. Only a little bit. If I pull it to tower, I lose the money. So we'll just do it right here. And then we'll go on about our day. Do I level this? Eh. I think I'll level the one. I'm trying to bait some stuff right now. Please! Thank you! That was so not worth it, but he dies, so it's fine. Right? Better does damage someday. Better does damage someday. He does damage someday. It took it took a little bit. How tanky is he? He's got stone of binding. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he did nothing to him. He did so little. He used his stuff, he landed it, he's building Jotuns like a normal person. But just, Cab was tanking, oh my god. I helped. Apparently not much. Yeah, mid camps are kind of tanky now. Alright, we'll keep leveling up the one. By the way, so we are going Tablet of Destinies, we're going to go at second item. Um, we're not going to rush this. I learned from not even building this, I think I've had one mid game and it was like a short game. Um, but from seeing somebody else rush it, they hit me with their early game tablet of destinies. Forget this. Um, and you can also just do math and figure it out. But get this. They hit me for literally one damage. That wasn't like I died from the one damage. It wasn't like a like a like kind of buggy. Oh, he, it was just the last damage needed for kill. No, like it literally did one damage <laughs> and it just didn't do anything. So believe it or not, that makes me think maybe we don't go tablet of destinies first item. There's also the whole math thing where you can kind of look at the passive and be like, we need mana and then stacks for this to be any good. So if you build it early, not only do you still have to stack it entirely, but you don't even have the mana to make it good when you get those stacks. So there's like no point yet. Okay, someday we get our ultimate here, but I don't know if we get it soon enough. Yeah. Big ult. Oh my God, that was a big ult. <laughs> Tell me, oh, it doesn't reach him. So close, man. Unfortunate. That was a good ult. That was a good ult. Instacast actually doing well for me. I also totally forgot, I should have put this on Instacast to begin with. I did not at all remember that when you have this ability on Instacast, you can still get like a highlighter. In my head, it just kind of, you see nothing and you have to guess. Which is why I thought it might be a little scuffed. But this should actually be okay. God, that was such a dirty ult, it's too bad. That just wasn't remotely a good enough fight for us. Since I didn't have my stuff up quite in time. I can maybe go do mids right now. I'm kind of worried if I if I wander in the jungle, we don't have too much damage up. Like, we can do it with Fenner, but when I'm alone, probably not going to go so, so well. I'm going to get in some trouble. Try and help this man out a little bit. Nice. Oh my god, please. No. Not like this, Janice. Don't you do it to me. All right, we should be good. I am getting absurdly greedy, but I want to get away with this. Tell me I get to. Janice, try it. I dare you. He doesn't want to try it? Oh my God. The fear. The absolute fear. It's going to be like that, huh? All right, let's start building it. We do not need this anymore. We'll do a little of this. 
So yeah, this item, if you guys want to do some math, um, Book of Thoth and normally just a Book of Thoth build. So, so getting some more mana online, getting level 20, all that good stuff. Normally we're going to get around 3k mana by the late game. Right now we already have a little over 2k. Uh, this passive gives us 0.08%, uh, true, wait, 0.08% of our mana turns into true damage on abilities cast per stack. And the way we're stacking it is we're doing damage with abilities, but it has a two second timer on it and it has to be abilities that we're hitting gods with. So fairly slow to stack, very, very reliant on fighting and on poking. So like right here, we'll get a stack. We do get two stacks. We barely get two stacks. So yeah, like we committed a little bit longer. We've got dot damage. We can get the two stacks there. We need 50. It's going to take a little bit. But once we finally get it all done, if I remember right, the final number is 4% of your mana is true damage. Good ult. I do know. I forgot about my shard this time again. Although I'm popping it. <laughs> Dude, if I didn't have my, uh, if I didn't have both abilities, if I just had the one there, that would have been such a funny juke, man. I'm actually maybe going to turn this. Oh, oh. Should be gone, I think. Oh, I flicked too hard. Tell me he dies. Do I got to do it myself? He's not burning. That's too bad. Oh my God, no. This game's getting a little ridiculous. So right now we already have nine stacks, right? So we can stack it up fairly fast when we're fighting. We do need to be fighting though. Let me try and actually get these wards up. So I'm kind of curious. I don't know if this is any good. We're going to do some very close wards. I think normally it's going to be a little dumb and you want to do deeper wards. We're going to try very close wards and see how it feels. Because realistically, we should probably try oracles. I really haven't been wording much at all in PTS. When I have been wording, it's been more like doing some uh, late game team fight type wording, which is pretty different. So we'll have to see. I think at some point I want to mess with Divine. Um, for now, we're just going to go work on Mirden because Mirden's nutty on Yu Hong. So we'll try that out. Try to think, what do we need all in this build? What should I go for? Yeah, Divine, like we really don't need anti-heal. It'll be okay. Fender's got some lifesteal, Honor's got some lifesteal, that's basically it. But if we do go that Divine, we can start messing with the Chain Lightning proxy if it feels any good. And then let me try and get another, maybe, maybe better ward right here. Like just that, something like that. Can you just eat the damage, please? Hang on. Tactical. Nice, we get two stacks that way. Big. Did you really sentry this or are you just autoing on the ward? He's just autoing on the ward. <laughs> He needed to do that. Yeah, shout outs to the supports, man. The supports are coming in awfully clutch right now, giving me all these stacks. Cab for sticking around. Bach is for, for setting up some CC. Let me farm my tablet, please. Thank you. This guy wants to run at me so bad, and I really don't know why. Yeah, I don't think it gets very good. Like, he is just dead as hell and <laughs> really, really overextended. It's a little, little much, man. He's trying to bully. He doesn't really get a bully, but we do. Oh, he jumped in. There was a red buff and then there wasn't a red buff. I got all excited. I thought we were about to yoink that shit. It's just the map being troll and acting like it's still there for too long. All right, hopefully they're chilling with the Janus. He might ult on overdue Janus things. Just kidding. He's in mid. We're fine. Are there any other items I'm forgetting about? There are some magical, technically magical items that have been added that I could maybe mess with a little. <laughs> Better, come on, man. Um, that I could mess with, but they don't make any sense on Yuhong. They're like auto attack items that have been worked on. Like the new Cyclopean ring. Oh, this might get a little annoying. We might just be kind of fine. As he runs on through. Can you not? Boys, stop it. You guys actually have to stop. I know he's going to want to ult me off this too. Yeah, stop. I do so little. What does he have? Oh, that's right, because he just finished spikes. So he's got all that. Yeah, decently tanky. I think this might just kind of also be the mage life right now. While we do have true damage on the tablet, the tablet's still a little bit potato at the moment. It's not doing a ton. Doing, it looks like a little over 30 a proc. And that's true damage too, so that's like tank tank or not, that's gonna be doing 30 a proc. Which really isn't crazy. Alright, Fenner might look for a little something. We maybe get a murder Janus. We got a big ult, but Aegis existed, so. Don't know how much. Oh! 
They did some damage, though. It's too bad. Oh, Bacchus. Oh, Bacchus, he went so deep. This game is an absolute brawl in mid. Which is funny because, like, we really don't need to brawl in mid. I can <laughs> I can just straight up, me and Janice can just straight up farm for days right now. They're just booking it at our lanes. Alright, let me grab some of these. So hopefully as we start getting this stacked up and now that we have Mirrodin done, we're kind of around that mage power spike like we used to have back in Season 9. I'm hoping where it's going to feel like I do damage now. We'll have to see. Fender's building full damage. Janice, of course, is full damage. So we'll have to see, especially when the ultimate comes up. I'm pro I probably just got to try and one shot this guy and see what actually happens. See if we actually get to do much up. Okay. I don't know how low was Fenner there that that ended up happening at all. Cap, why, man? He wants to bully me so bad. You don't get to. You need you need to stop. He's he's about to be dead. Check this out. What is this game, man? Sorry, we might have some BTS matchmaking on and off, boys. This game is a little ridiculous right now. This man is straight up running at my face 05 off cooldown. Yeah, we're, we're going to get some of that. Matchmaking is so inconsistent right now. Sometimes we'll get a uh, SPL or SCC level team where there's a decent amount of players that are in one of those leagues, if not both of those leagues, and some high-level ranked players. And then there's other games where I just I know absolutely nobody in the game at all whatsoever. So it's super inconsistent. All right. Do we just go to Vine? Janice, how dare you? All right, probably just want to straight up word that, honestly. Last time I worded the little intersection, and I don't think that made much sense. I mean, I guess this is also an intersection, but, like, you just straight up, this is a giant spot to pad through on the left side, so this should be a really OP ward in terms, at least in terms of seeing this. Like, it's pretty possible for them to go through gold as well, though. Oh, we invading green right now, Fenner? I don't know about that. I don't know if we get to do that. No, stop. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> I really thought that would kill him. And I just kind of left it be. Thank you. I need more stacks. <laughs> I'm going to assume that was not on purpose. Oh my God, man. Nice. Got the honor with it. That's all I care about. At least I'm laying an ult. That's really, that's the big thing. Okay, that one, that's a portal we like to see, right? Or I guess that they like to see. I do have a feeling with the Janus ult, maybe didn't mean to take that portal. Could be wrong, you know? Seems like they're starting to try and try and start a team fight. Man immediately dips out of the fight by, <laughs> by Janus portaling like halfway across the map. All right, I don't think we get to fight this. We don't have boys yet. If we get boys in here, we're probably okay. And I got relics to work with. Ar Arthur, please. Stop trying to bully. God, I hit so hard. Yeah, definitely, definitely starting to hit right now. I mean, does he have a bunch of FizD? Okay, he does have a bunch. He's not very tanky against me, but still. Doing a lot of damage. And we're getting the, the tablet stacked, which is sick. It's most of the way there. All right, so yeah, I think we'll go to Vine, but we don't actually have Divine Money quite yet because they did change the price along with a new passive. It's another thing worth bringing up if you guys don't know about it. Um, Divine is kind of reworked, sort of. It's basically got the same stats. It's more expensive. It has the same anti-heal, but it also comes with, uh, Magical Oboe. Not, not in terms of auto attacks, but in terms of abilities, where we have this, like, Chain Lightning thing that goes off very similar statistically to Oboe. Very similar concept to Oboe, where we're splashing around some damage in a team fight. It actually has a cooldown, unlike Oboe, since it's ability-based, and you can't just spam the shit out of it. That'd be dumb. So... It's not just like entirely better, but realistically, it's basically divine buff. This this pass is pretty crazy. Divine's not not that much more expensive. It kept all the other stats. It's pretty good. Yeah, so you can see 40 damage plus 20% power chain lightning once every 20 seconds. Once every 20 seconds is not a ton, so that's that's like the downside to it. Yeah, hopefully we can actually rotate into this and clap a little bit. By the way, normally I think in a more organized game. A little bit less ridiculous of a game. I think we'd be getting a lot more neutral farm right now. 
Like I'm overall pretty farmed, but it's been, <laughs> it's been a little bit of a weird one. So we've mostly really been sticking in mid. Nice, try and keep this guy pinned as well. Don't let him do it. Nice. All right, we doing gold boys, right? But yeah, so we get that chain lightning proc. It's only up to once every 20 seconds, but we still get crazy value just from hitting it. Rip. I got mid diffed. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. I knew it was coming too. I just secured it at the wrong time. Can you? I'm trying to play the game over here. God, that damage. All right, we're probably going to kill Arthur someday, right? There go the beads. Here comes the root. Oh, he's doing the spinny thing. Why are you not drunker right now? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, we got some decent damage. I got Aegis. I think we'll be good. Oh, yeah? That was a big whiff. Oh, Fenrir. Oh, Fenrir. <laughs> <laughs> what is this game, man? Oh my god, we can't be missing brutalizes. Yeah, click him down. Okay, surely I should not greed farm right now, right? Surely not. Because I would absolutely love to get a little gem of focus in my life. I really want to mess with the new, uh, the new upgrade, man. I mean, not a not new upgrade, but like the buffed upgrade. Okay, actually, I just got a billion farm. If we just do red buff, we're good. Sorry, sir. I'm leaving you. I'm 400 HP. I'm a little spooked. Actually, that works. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we almost got Tamblet finished. And we get this absolutely juicy upgrade where we get 15% move speed. And it's not how you look at this. 15% move speed, 15% damage increase. No more mitigation. Okay, that's the downside. It's no longer, you're not getting tankier. Believe it or not, we don't really care about that on Yuhong mid going full damage. So basically just a big buff to it. Before it really wasn't worth it, Pendulum is just OP. Um, and Pendulum will probably still mostly feel OP because you get more power out of it. You get 20% cooldown. Right now we have 10% cooldown. Really don't have much. But this makes you Yumi and it can potentially make you hit harder even though realistically probably normally not. Probably it's just going to end up making it so that you're Zoomy and then you're going to have similar damage but you're going to miss out on cooldown. So maybe that'll nerf your damage. Uh, Divine? Divine did a little bit, man. That was not remotely an ideal spot for it. We had two people, and then it still did 250. So that's <laughs> that's maybe a little bit dumb. That's maybe a little ridiculous. By the way, one thing to keep in mind with Tablet, something that's actually really interesting about the item. Um, oh, God, I want to kill the Janus so bad, but I don't have relics. Oh, and he's getting a little Divine of his own, huh? Getting a little Lightning. Something to keep in mind with Tablet of Destinies is it's sort of a pen item in, in a very weird way. So it's probably more so comparable to just straight up Soul Reaver, but it's actually something where we maybe don't need as much pen because this is actually straight up true damage. Whereas Soul Reaver is just based on health, so naturally it's going to be better against tanks because tanks are tankier. Ults have been good. Ults have been, ults have been awfully good. But yeah, so even though we don't have a ton of pen right now in the build, I can maybe get by just spamming Tablet of Destinies and getting all that extra true damage. Nice, we had to keep our Gem of Focus passive off that too. I got it off just in time. Arthur, where are we going? I got relics, I got boys. I think we'll be chilling. Can you? I am trying to murder a Fenrir here. Uh oh, okay, now we might be dead. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're fine. Uh, Alright, let me dip. Yeah? You guys gonna clap them all real quick? Nice. Alright, I actually don't know what we're buying. I think because I do kind of want to play with it a little bit, we're gonna actually try going, like, no pen. We're gonna have the 10% on Mirrodin, and we're gonna have the con or the, uh, the Tablet of Destinies. That's gonna be it. I mean, I need to start calling it Tablet. It's such a long name to say over and over and over again. But I think we'll try going low pen, even though they have a tanky Arthur and a tanky camp, and we do want to kill them um, and see how it feels. See if it feels terrible or not. 
Because cooldown would be good. Soul gem proc could be good. I can't even, I guess I can three over this if I'm not stupid, but I am stupid. There we go, at least he's dead. I really doubt Cab gets to 1v1 me, but there's boys coming. Am I? Am I really? Was that was that the Mobus mode right there? Is the like forget I can go over walls and then kill one person with my entire kit? I don't know if that was Mobus mode. Cab, don't do it. Don't do. <laughs> what are we doing, man? <laughs> Is this actually bait? Are there actually boys right here? I don't know why he does this to himself. <laughs> it seems like he wants to assert dominance all game. And then just like takes a bunch of damage and then dies or doesn't die. Like he doesn't always die. I just, I don't get it. If I, if I was seeing a little gank, you know, if I saw a little Fender head around the corner, that would have made sense. It was the only reason I stopped going is because it felt like it totally could have been a gank and it's not really worth dying for the Kabrakan support. But I don't think it was. All right. Well, we're full build. We got the soul gem online. Yeah, realistically, this build's probably not it. Um, and I'm also not totally sure. I don't even know, even though Tablet of Destinies can stack up to seem pretty crazy, I don't even know if it's actually that good. Because the giant downside to this item is that it really gets in the way. Um, there are a lot of stats that are important in Smite um, on mages, specifically cooldown and penetration that are important to work into almost any build. And Tablet does a really bad job of doing either of those. So unless you get enough pen effectively that it feels fine, this might be a big old. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think might be a big old is possibly an understatement. Just a bit. Don't let Fenrir do it to me. Save me boys, save me. Okay, how did they do that? I actually have no clue how they managed that. Shout out to Bacchus. I think that was like 99% Bacchus. <laughs> How do we get away with that? That's crazy. That's actually so dumb. That's so wild, man. Oh, he's got the cooldown build. I kind of like this. This might be kind of... He's almost got this thing upgraded, too, given it's been 27 minutes. This might be kind of clean. Because you get the double aura and you actually get a spam stuff. Oh. Okay, should just kill him, but then hopefully I'm not dead. Yeah, should be good. That, that was greedy, man. If there was anybody else there, we could have been in so much trouble. I shouldn't have done it. I got away with it. Uh oh, speaking of which. I still, I still kind of want to kill Honor for jumping at me, but I really don't want to die if I can avoid it. It's so not worth it, man. So by the way, something I don't think I quite brought up, I kind of like, uh, I kind of touched on it for a second at one point earlier. Something to keep in mind with Gemma Focus, especially because it doesn't give us cooldown, and so you naturally are going to tend to struggle with cooldown when you build this item. Because normally, if you do care about cooldown, you're going to not want to build it, you're going to want to go Pendulum. Um, and you, because you don't have that Pendulum, you're just going to tend to be missing it in your build. So we have this issue where you want to be spamming abilities for Gemma Focus so that you're keeping it fully stacked, right? You want those three stacks all the time, always and forever, so that you're speedy and that you always do more damage, um, which is really, really good when you get to keep that. When we have kind of okay cooldown, Yu Huang, given at this point we're at like 30% because I got the red pot and I just finished Soul Gem. Um, when we're not getting abilities off often enough, we run out of stacks and it's basically just a bad item. So something to keep in mind is sometimes you want to just throw out abilities just to keep it stacked, which if we're actually around a team fight might be terrible. We might throw out our one on purpose, missing it just to keep stacks and then not have it when we need it, which can get a little rough. But it's something to try and look for where we can so we actually get the value. Like right now, I should probably just chuck stuff <laughs> and just start stacking it up a little. But look at this tiny window I have. These are like eight second cooldowns and it's a 10 second passive. So I really don't have that long. If I hold cooldowns at all, then we're going to struggle. Unless we're kind of mixing up the cooldowns or like I'm using them at different times. But at least our two and our one, we're not going to tend to do that. Was that not? I could have sworn I heard Cab. Hi, Arthur. Okay, shouldn't need to hold this right. We got him. Boys, we got him. Boys. Okay, we, we got him. We got him. We got the Surter ultimate to make sure. 
Damn, I should have ulted that guy. I wasn't quite in range. We didn't hit everything. Can I do something to the... Oh, I want to do it. I don't see him, though. Janus. I goofed it. I goofed it. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> that sucks. If I actually just landed my stuff there, he was so unbelievably dead. Whatever. We should get EFG. It is actually just turning into EFG, too. Okay, this one, I gotta make sure that we actually secure. I kind of goofed the gold jury before. I don't have ultimate for secure either, so it's not the easiest. Okay, there goes a little bit. They're spooking me. Okay, we should just get it now. Yeah, once we got the Janus cooldowns down, I just kind of dumped everything. Figure there's no way this man gets in here and steals it with a tremble or some sort of nonsense. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, does he actually get punished? Nice. Don't mind me casually yoinking it with a single auto attack. Oh, whoops. Probably should have hit. Oh god. You know what? <laughs> we're gonna beats for cooldowns. I really don't want to risk it. Like, we were full HP. I don't want to risk it going wrong. I straight up had to just sit there and bait for three seconds if I didn't do that. Honestly, probably worth it. We haven't been needing these beads. No, this has been such a ridiculous game. I should be so much... Like, I feel like I've been playing pretty clean on the Yuhuang, but not like 15-0 clean. This has just been stupid. Can I... Poor drunk Cabrakin. Oh. A little awkward. Hang on. Give me a second. Oh, I didn't quite get him with all that. That sucks. Does he clean him up? Oh, he's got to clean him up, right? Yeah, nice. I want to greed for this so bad. I really do. Whatever. I think he went left. I think he's going to go murder Scotty. Am I right? Well, maybe maybe he doesn't need to. Maybe on her does it on his own. All right, so the power is apparently a little stupid in this build. Oh my god. Like, we don't get much out of Tablet. We get a bunch of bonus damage and stuff, but... We're really sitting at just 1127 right now. We do have EFG. I guess I'm forgetting about that. Oh, that's one thing I didn't think about. Oh, this makes so much sense, too. One thing I did not at all think about when we're going gem of focus on Yu Hong is we can waste our passive trying to keep our stuff up, which absolutely sucks. Because you really want every little bit, especially as you're getting into team fights and things. Like, you want every little bit you can get. Okay, we probably we don't need to force this. If they want to go on me all greedy, we can dump on them. But, yeah, otherwise, maybe do this. Yeah, we're wasting our passive a lot of the time. Like, right now I'm one tick off. If I won for Gem of Focus, I just waste that. And when it's early in the game and you can just fully charge your two all the time, it's a little easier. But for us, it's really not that easy. Like, I'll do this right now. That's about it. So, probably not the best Yu Huang item. It is a big buff, though, for the most part. So I do think this is way more viable in general. Where if you want to, you can definitely build it now and it's no longer dumb. Whereas before it really was more of like a guardian solo item. Where it's like, you know what, there's some mitigation. I get a zoom a bit. Why not upgrade it? I suppose. And then Kondo, it just like wasn't getting bottom mid because there wasn't really that much of a point. Ooh. Man's almost hitting pillar and pills out here. I almost hit that on accident. <laughs> I mean, obviously I was trying to hit it, but not not that way. I was trying to hit it point blank and I whiffed it, but we still got the CC man value out of it, so that's fine. Oh my god! No, stop three in me. This man is absolutely zooming, by the way. Yeah, so I will say something that we're seeing over and over again that's actually kind of ridiculous. Tablet of Destinies, man. Doing straight up 100 bonus tree damage, that is pretty good. That's pretty gross. 
but it's also worth considering we can basically do that with Soul Reaver. So the passive's definitely been good for quite a while. I don't think it's anything very unique or very crazy. You don't see a whole lot of true damage. It doesn't matter all that much that it's true damage. All right, GG, boys. Yes, <laughs> so that was a stupid one. That's probably going to be by far the dumbest PTS game we have. I don't think I've had anything else that felt that ridiculous or I could just murder everybody off of cooldown and it was easy. So so hopefully the last little bit of PTS, I think we've only got like a couple days left or something. There might only, there might only be one more PTS video. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully the last little bit will be a little more balanced than this one because it's kind of dumb. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Nice. Look at the number. We got the good number. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.